Netflix's recent move to release viewing data is a significant step toward greater transparency for a company that has historically kept audience figures off limits to the public. Last week, the streaming giant released its first-ever biannual viewing report dubbed What We Watched, a Netflix engagement report. The report covers six months of data and includes hours viewed for every title, original and licensed, watched for over 50,000 hours. In total, Netflix said the report covers more than 18,000 titles, representing 99% of all viewing on Netflix and nearly 100 billion hours viewed. Prior to the report, Netflix, like other streamers, hadn't made many specifics on viewership available externally, but the Hollywood Guild's recently secured transparency provisions in their latest contract negotiations with the studios. Third-party rating services like Nielsen and Comscore also don't track streaming ratings as they do with linear television. Netflix has released its weekly top 10 lists and most popular report since 2021, but that dataset remains limited in scope relative to the new report given it's restricted to a handful of titles. In the earliest days, it really wasn't really in our interest to be that transparent because we were building a new business and we needed room to learn, Netflix co-CEO Ted Sarandos said on a press call last week, adding the company didn't want to provide a roadmap to competitors and that, by not releasing data, it wasn't beholden to numbers and ratings. But as the business evolved, the unintended consequence of not having more transparent data about our engagement was it created an atmosphere of mistrust over time with producers and creators and the press, the executive said. So I would say that this is on the continuum of transparency as streaming has become more and more mainstream. Netflix has been ahead of the curve relative to competitors, which still largely keep their respective streaming figures hidden. It's possible Netflix's move could prompt more transparency as more consumers cut the cord or drop their cable packages and the media world evolves past overnight Nielsen ratings.